A potato chip or crisp is a thin slice of potato that has been deep-fried, baked, kettle-cooked, or popped until crunchy. Potato chips are commonly served as a snack, side dish, or appetizer. The basic chips are cooked and salted. Additional varieties are manufactured using various flavorings and ingredients including herbs, spices, cheeses, and artificial additives. Crisps, however, may also refer to many different types of savory snack products sold in the United Kingdom and Ireland, some made from potato, but some made from corn, tapioca or other cereals, just as there are other varieties of chips in the United States. Potato chips are a predominant part of the snack food market in Western countries. The global potato chip market generated total revenues of $16.49 billion in 2005. This accounted for 35.5% of the total savory snacks market in that year. History According to a traditional story in the United States, the original potato chip recipe was created in Saratoga Springs, New York. By the late 19th century, a popular version of the story attributed the dish to George Crumb, a half-African, half-Native American cook at Moon's Lake House, who was trying to appease an unhappy customer on August 24, 1853. The customer kept sending his fried potatoes back complaining that they were too thick. Frustrated, he sliced the potatoes razor thin, fried them until crisp and seasoned them with extra salt. To Crumb's surprise, the customer loved them. They soon became called Saratoga Chips, a name that persisted into at least the mid-20th century. A version of this story popularized in a 1973 national advertising campaign by St. Regis Paper Company, which manufactured packaging for chips, said that Crumb's customer was Cornelius Vanderbilt. Crum was renowned as a chef and by 1860 owned his own lakeside restaurant, Crum's House. In the United Kingdom, the origin of the potato chip is attributed to English food writer William Kitchener's 1822 cookbook The Cook's Oracle, which was a bestseller in England and the United States, and includes a recipe for potatoes fried in slices or shavings which instructs readers to peel large potatoes, slice them about a quarter of an inch thick or cut them in shavings round and round. As you would peel a lemon, dry them well in a clean cloth, and fry them in lard or dripping. The earliest reference of the potato chip in the United States is in Mary Randolph's The Virginia Housewife, which includes a recipe explicitly derived from Kitchener's earlier cookbook. Boston housekeeper N.K.M. Lee's cookbook, The Cook's Own Book, also contains a recipe for the potato chip that references Kitchener's cookbook. American author Brian D'Ambrosio writes, William Kitchener's The Cook's Oracle includes a recipe for what can only be described as a potato chip, whether one called it a potato chip or not. It would seem that a thinly sliced potato cooked in hot oil and served sprinkled with salt existed before George Crumb or his sister Katie Speckwicks invented the potato chip in the 20th century. Potato chips spread beyond chef-cooked restaurant fare and began to be mass-produced for home consumption. The Dayton, Ohio-based Mike Sells Potato Chip Company, founded in 1910, identifies as the oldest potato chip company in the United States. New England-based Try Some Potato Chips, originally founded in 1908 as the Lemster Potato Chip Company, in Lemster, Massachusetts claimed to be America's first potato chip manufacturer. Chips sold in markets were usually sold in tins or scooped out of storefront glass bins and delivered by horse and wagon. The early potato chip bag was wax paper with the ends ironed or stapled together. At first, potato chips were packaged in barrels or tins, which left chips at the bottom stale and crumbled. Laura Scudder, an entrepreneur in Monterey Park, California started having her workers take home sheets of wax paper to iron into the form of bags, which were filled with chips at her factory the next day. This pioneering method reduced crumbling and kept the chips fresh and crisp longer. 
This innovation, along with the invention of cellophane, allowed potato chips to become a mass-market product. Today, chips are packaged in plastic bags, with nitrogen gas blown in prior to sealing to lengthen shelf life, and provide protection against crushing. Flavored chips in an idea originated by the Smith's Potato Crisps Company Limited, formed in 1920. Frank Smith packaged a twist of salt with his chips in greaseproof paper bags, which were sold around London. The potato chip remained otherwise unseasoned until an innovation by Joe Spud Murphy, the owner of an Irish chip company called Tater, who in the 1950s developed a technology to add seasoning during manufacture. After some trial and error, Murphy and his employee, Seamus Burke, produced the world's first seasoned chips, cheese and onion, barbecue, and salt and vinegar. This innovation was notable in the food industry. Companies worldwide sought to buy the rights to Tato's technique. The first flavored chips in the United States, barbecue flavor, were being manufactured and sold by 1954. In 1958, Hares was the first company to introduce barbecue-flavored potato chips in Pennsylvania. Nomenclature There is little consistency in the English-speaking world for names of fried potato slices, thick or thin. American and Canadian English use chips for the above-mentioned dish. This term is also used in other parts of the world. Due to the influence of American culture, and sometimes crisps for the same made from batter. In the United Kingdom and Ireland, crisps are potato chips which are eaten cold, whilst chips are similar to French fries and are served hot. In Australia, some parts of South Africa, New Zealand, India, the general West Indies especially in Barbados. Both forms of potato product are simply known as chips, as are the larger, home-style, potato crisps. In the north of New Zealand, they are known as chippies, but are marketed as chips throughout the country. In Australia and New Zealand, sometimes the distinction is made between hot chips and potato chips. In Bangladesh, they are generally known as chip or chips, and much less frequently as crisps, and locally, aloo badger. In German-speaking countries and in countries of the former SFR Yugoslavia, fried thin potato slices are known as chips, with a clear distinction from French fries. In Brazil, home-style potato chips are known as batatas portuguesas if their sides are relatively smooth and batatas prussianas if their sides show a wafer, biscuit-like pattern. Whilst American-like industrial uniform potato chips made from a fried potato puree-based dough are known as batata chips or dust chips. Health Concerns Potato chips were originally deep-fried in lard and seasoned with salt. Later other fats were used, including vegetable oils and trans fats. The latter identified as having such serious adverse health effects that they have been phased out by many manufacturers in the 21st century. Following concerns about nutrition and the 20th century formulation of dietary reference intake guidelines in the US and Canada and similar guidelines in various countries, for decades consumers, advocacy groups, and health organizations have focused on the nutritional value of junk foods, including potato chips. A recent long-term study determined that potato chip consumption was the greatest contributor to weight gain, having a stronger effect on weight gain than consumption of potatoes and soft drinks. Some potato chip companies have responded to the criticism by investing in research and development to modify existing recipes and create health-conscious products. Kettle Foods was founded in 1978 and currently sells only trans-fat-free products, including potato chips. PepsiCo research shows that approximately 80% of salt on chips is not sensed by the tongue before being swallowed. Frito-Lay spent $414 million in 2009 on product development. 
including development of salt crystals that would reduce the salt content of LAY's potato chips without adversely affecting flavor. A big concern about the nutrition of potato chips is that, because they are usually made with salt, they contain substantial levels of sodium. This had been linked to health issues such as high blood pressure, and potato chips' taste appeal caused people to overeat and become obese. But, researchers at Queen Mary, University of London in 2004 noted that a small bag of ready salted crisps contains less salt than a serving of Special K, All Bran, Golden Grahams, Cheerios, Shreddies and every brand of cornflakes on sale in the UK. Some chip vendors offer chips that have been baked instead of fried, although these chips offer much lower fat content. Many of the commercially produced baked potato chips contained more sodium than the fried counterpart from the same manufacturer. An alternative is to bake your own potato chips and lower the sodium content by adding less or no salt. There is also the option of non-ready salted chips, e.g., the long-standing British brand Salt N Shake, whose chips are not seasoned, but instead include a small salt sachet in the bag, such that the chips can be salted as much or as little as the purchaser would like. Acrylamide occurs during the cooking of potato chips, which was discovered in April 2002. This raised concern because of the probable carcinogenic effects of acrylamide. On August 26, 2005, California Attorney General Bill Lockyer filed a lawsuit against four makers of French fries and potato chips, H.J. Heinz Co., Frito-Lay, Kettle Foods Inc., and Lance Inc to reduce the risk to consumers from consuming acrylamide. The lawsuit was settled on August 1, 2008, with the food producers agreeing to cut acrylamide levels to 275 parts per billion in three years. To avoid a Proposition 65 warning label, the companies avoided trial by agreeing to pay a combined $3 million in fines as a settlement with the California Attorney General's office. Regional varieties. In Canada, seasonings include dill pickle, ketchup, barbecue, all dressed, salt and vinegar, and sour cream and onion. In 2006, LA Wise introduced wasabi chips in Toronto and Vancouver, but no longer offers them. Loblaw, Canada's largest food retailer, offers several unusual flavors under its President's Choice brand, including poutine, maple bacon, Jamaican jerk chicken, Greek feta and olive, ballpark hot dog, and barbecue baby back ribs. In Hong Kong, the two prominent potato chips are the spicy, ethnic and variety by Calbi, and barbecue by Jack Jill. LAYs are also popular in Hong Kong. In Ireland the two main flavors are cheese and onion, and salt and vinegar. However in Ireland, the word tater is synonymous with potato chips after the tater brand and can be used to describe all varieties of chips including those not produced by Tater. Owing to the dominance of Tater in the Irish market, the word has become a genericized trademark. Hunky Dories and King Crisps are other popular Irish brands. In Germany, only two flavors were traditionally available, red paprika and ready salted. These are still by far the most common and popular types. But in recent years some vendors started to offer a number of other flavors like sour cream and onion, cheese, oriental or more exotic seasonings like chakalaka, curry vorst, pom, rot vice. Potato chips made from ground potatoes are called staple chips rather than cut off felt chips for legal reasons. In Colombia there are lemon, chicken, chorizo and sirloin steak with mushroom sauce flavored potato chips. In Japan, flavors include nori and shiyu, consomme, wasabi, soy sauce and butter, garlic, plum, barbecue, pizza, mayonnaise, and black pepper. Chili, scallop with butter, teriyaki, takoyaki and yakitori flavored chips are also available. Major manufacturers are Kalbi, Koikea and Yamayoshi. Chips are called chipu. The market in the United Kingdom is dominated by walkers, which holds 58% of the British crisp market. 
Walkers is known for its wide variety of potato chips. The three main flavors are ready salted, cheese and onion, and salt and vinegar. However, other examples are prawn cocktail, Worcester sauce, roast chicken, steak and onion, smoky bacon, lamb and mint, ham and mustard, barbecue, barbecue rib, tomato ketchup, sausage and ketchup, pickled onion, Branston pickle, and marmite. More exotic flavors are Thai sweet chili, roast pork and creamy mustard sauce, lime and Thai spices, chicken with Italian herbs, sea salt and cracked black pepper, turkey and bacon, caramelized onion and sweet balsamic vinegar, stilton and cranberry, mango chili, and special flavors such as American cheeseburger and English roast beef and Yorkshire pud. Kettle Foods Limited S range of thick cut crunchy potato chips include gourmet flavors, Mexican limes with a hint of chili, salsa with mesquite, buffalo mozzarella tomato and basil, mature cheddar with adnims broadside beer, soulmate heezers and onion. McCoy's crisps are also popular in the UK. In the north of England, Seabrook potato crisps are popular, but they are much less common in the south. In the United States, popular potato chips flavors include original, sour cream and onion, dill pickle, barbecue, ranch dressing, salt and vinegar, cheddar and lemon lime. Stores in regions with a significant Hispanic population often sell lime-flavored chips using the Mexican name of lemon. In the Gulf South, Zapp's Potato Chips of Gramercy, Louisiana manufactures kettle fried chips with regional flavors such as crawtata, Cajun dill, voodoo, and Creole onion. Similar foods. Another type of potato chip, notably the Pringles and LAY Stacks brands, is made by extruding or pressing a dough made from ground potatoes into the desired shape before frying. This makes chips that are uniform in size and shape, which allows them to be stacked and packaged in rigid tubes. In America, the official term for Pringles is potato crisps, but they are rarely referred to as such. Conversely, Pringles may be termed potato chips in Britain, to distinguish them from traditional crisps. Manchos, another brand that uses the term potato crisps, has deep air pockets in its chips that give it a curved shape. Though the chips themselves resemble regular bag chips, an additional variant of potato chips exists in the form of potato sticks, also called shoestring potatoes. These are made as extremely thin versions of the popular French fry, but are fried in the manner of regular salted potato chips. A hickory smoke flavor version is popular in Canada, going by the vending machine name of hickory sticks. Potato sticks are typically packaged in rigid containers, although some manufacturers use flexible pouches, similar to potato chip bags. Potato sticks were originally packed in hermetically sealed steel cans. In the 1960s, manufacturer switched to the less expensive composite canister. Reckitt Benkiser was a market leader in this category under the Durkee Potato Sticks and French's Potato Sticks names, but exited the business in 2008. In 2014 French has re-entered the market. A larger variant made with dehydrated potatoes is marketed as Andy Capp's Pub Fries, using the theme of a long-running British comic strip, which are baked and come in a variety of flavors. Walkers make a similar product called Chipsticks, which come in ready salted and salt and vinegar flavors. Some companies have also marketed baked potato chips as an alternative with lower fat content. Additionally, some varieties of fat-free chips have been made using artificial and indigestible fat substitutes. These became well known in the media when an ingredient many contained, Olestra, was linked in some individuals to abdominal discomfort and loose stools. The success of crisp fried potato chips also gave birth to fried corn chips, with such brands as Fritos, CC's and Doritos dominating the market. Swamp chips are similarly made from a variety of root vegetables, such as parsnips, rutabagas and carrots. 
Japanese-style variants include extruded chips, like products made from rice or cassava. In South Indian snack cuisine, there is an item called hapla in Kannada, vadam in Tamil, which is a chip made of an extruded rice, sago or multigrain base that has been around for many centuries. There are many other products which might be called crisps in Britain but would not be classed as potato chips because they aren't made with potato and or aren't shipped. Kettle-style chips are traditionally made by the batch-style process where all chips are fried all at once at a low temperature profile and continuously raked to prevent them from sticking together. There has been some development recently where kettle-style chips are able to be produced by a continuous-style process creating the same old-fashioned texture and flavor of a real kettle-cooked chip. Non-potato-based chips also exist. Kumara chips are eaten in Korea, New Zealand and Japan. Parsnip, beetroot and carrot crisps are available in the United Kingdom. India is famous for a large number of localized chips shops, selling not only potato chips but also other varieties such as plantain chips tapioca chips, yam chips and even carrot chips. Plantain chips, also known as chifles or tostones, are also sold in the Western Hemisphere from Canada to Chile. In the Philippines, banana chips can be found sold at local stores. In Kenya, chips are made even from arrowroot and cassava. In the United Kingdom, Sweden, Finland and Australia, a new variety of Pringles made from rice have been released and marketed as lower in fat than the potato counterparts. Production The process of making chips Potato is sliced by rotating the blade. Long and narrow slices are produced. The potato slices are fried in hot oil. Frying takes several minutes. The finished product, 